washroom here, which also has to be seen. <laughs> Check this out. Yeah, wow. How you doing? Right, we came, we seen. Let's go. All the beautiful people. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. <laughs> Let's go. Got more beaches to see. Red flag, by the way. Doesn't look too rough. Got the perfect wave action today. Not too big, not too small. I like. And at the end of Chuang Beach, the San Suchi is open. Bamboo bar is open. I'll bet you they're busy tonight. Petrol. Okay, there we go. Right in the corner here. Perfect. Big up. Thanks. Sanuk Mark. Me Luca Wani. My Mia. Me. Kim Kao. Come, come. Chokdi ka. See you. Come, come on, come. See you later. Have a good day, ladies. I almost got more than I bargained for there. Hi. I'm now going to take you to what I think is the best close in beach and it's sort of a secret beach too a lot of tourists certainly don't know it in the ring road here they've done a beautiful job with it all the way around the island. It's completely resurfaced, widened. So if you haven't been back to Samui, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised and pleased, hopefully, by this. But if you ask some local expats, there's still lots to moan about, apparently. Living in paradise is a real hardship. <laughs> lots to complain about. Just at the bottom of this hill, just past the Jungle Club, take a left at this dirt road, or dirt track here to the simply named Beach Bar, Samui. There's a preview. You have to see this beach. It's a beach tour after all, isn't it? But as you can see, this is an absolutely idyllic spot. And I'm the, the nicest beach in Chiwang. Oh, still have a massage. Look at that beach. Almost to yourself. Only one set of prints on the beach right now. As you can see, Chiwang Noi is an absolute gem. We're coming down. Good. I hope they take some chairs from this guy. Wani kap. Mani luka. Wani mani luka. Tip. Oh, thank you, thank you. Chomti kap. I gave him a tip. Can't help everybody, but... Right, let's carry on our beach tour. Well, sadly, the beach bar is closed. Hopefully it's a temporary thing, and the next time you come to Samui, it'll be open. So come on down and give it a try. I think you'll probably like it a lot better than uh, Chuang Main Beach. Chuang Noi, peeps. Let's go. It's getting late in the day. I'm losing the sun here. stop at the viewpoint here. It's getting late in the day. I haven't covered nearly enough ground that I wanted to. And here's Coral Resort at the bottom of the hill and it's well worth a stop. Quintessential little beach bar here. A few people here enjoying the day. Looks like we have some pretty good uh, Yamusen, that's lots of it. Anyways, this is a uh, Coral Cove beach. All the lights fading, you get the idea. It's a 
quaint, cute little beach. Yeah. And a nice little beach bar. All right, let's go. Now, this next beach is my favorite beach. And here we are at Silver Beach, otherwise known as Crystal Bay. Let's go. A few peeps here. Let's go up top. Beautiful, yeah? Still got a bit of sun and a bit of beach to look at, so that's good. Lots of people enjoying themselves here. These little bungalows are, are good value at the uh, Silver Beach Resort. I forgot what they were going for when I was here last time, but uh, maybe I'll put it up on the screen if I can find it. Also, Crystal Bay Yacht Club, just down the beach, they've got great value rooms as well. People wouldn't think that. You think, oh, it's, you know, four star, four star prices, but not so. Place to chill, yeah. Happy hour. Buy one, get one, one sixty. Damn, that's good. I wish I wasn't driving. <laughs> On me motorbike. Good price. Thank you. Come, come. Oh, Silver Beach Resort. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to come down there. Massage in the beach? Why not? Right there. Beautiful. So Silver Beach in Crystal Bay, looks like it's getting popular again. Okay, it's now after four o'clock. Before we lose the light off the beach completely, let's head right to the lookout at Lamai. And I've side tripped the game way too much today, as I usually do. Let's go. Yeah, I know I said I was gonna go straight to Lamai, but I absolutely have to look down here. this out. Authentic little fishing harbor here. And the place on my left had a pool. Yep. Looks like there's people here now. Great. Let's go over the bridge and have a look. Beautiful little fishing cove. This is my kind of place here. What a view. Check that out. I'll have to stop and take a photo. What is dead calm over here, isn't that? It's more of a protected cove. It's just the very far end of Lamai Beach. Lamai proper is down that way, which we'll go to now. Coming 
down the hill to Macro. I will take a left here at Hinta Hinyai. Nice ride, buddy. Okay, here's a little secret. Don't go straight to Hinyai. Go down here. Beach bar. There's one over here that I'm interested in. I went to the last time. I think the guy's name was Pock. P-O-K. Yeah. Sometimes alive. Come back. Sleep. Oh, okay. Ma. No shirt, no shoes, no pop lamb. <laughs> This looks pretty swish, doesn't it? And here's Pockpack's Holiday Beach Club. Pockpack, if you're watching, I'd still come to your bar, man. <laughs> I like it. And that is fabulous Lamai Beach. It's a great walking beach, great swimming beach, great everything beach. Wait for it. Not yet. Lamai! <laughs> Beautiful. So Lamai Beach, as you can see, is just absolutely spectacular. Right now, let's continue our beach tour while we still got some light. Okay, there is uh, Grandfather Rock. I don't have to point it out, obviously. Perhaps. <laughs> I shouldn't have to. Some girls on the other side. They've got the beach themselves. Very nice. See you later, ladies. Enjoy your private beach. There's the Rasta Bar. The Rock Bar. Rock Bar Mon. The sun's fading, so I've got to move on. As you can see, it's an absolute gem. There, hopefully I talked enough and I won't get a copyright strike. Let's go. <laughs> and the next place I want to look at is just a few hundred meters up here on the left. Don't see too many bikes here yet. Mind you, it's not quite sunset time. Easy ring road right there. And as soon as we step down a few steps, it'll be like a garden paradise. Okay, do-do bows on the left here. May they still be open. You can see if you do come here in the daytime, you can use the pool. What a setting, yeah? Good to know the do-do bow is still open. And the place next door, it looks like they've reopened. So that's also a good sign. What he cop? And they have a massage place too. <laughs> there, I wish it was low tide and you could see what it looks like because out to the furthest rocks you would see sand. And it just looks amazing. Choke teacup. Su su. <laughs> and there are some people going down just as I'm leaving, so that's good. I imagine at sunset in another 40 minutes or so, there'll be lots of people down here. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take a quick drive through Lamai just to gauge what we can. Obviously, you're going to see a lot more places open after dark than late afternoon, but we'll have a look anyways. A very quick run through Lamai. Sign of the life here for sure. Did you see? Lamai Muay Thai camp. Carry on. And a healthy organic shop beside the Muay Thai again. Smart marketing. We'll come back and take a left here later. Let's go down to the beach areas first. 
few little bars open here. Again, this is until it's night, you don't really know, get a good sense of what's open or how busy. Quick look, as I always do, down at uh, Bamboos. Always popular, cheap as chips. Reasonably priced eats right on the beach. Popular with the local expats. As you can see, the prices are pretty good. Shrimp cocktail, five bucks. Chicken satay, three bucks. So, new. Siwa Latte Beach and Eatery. Let's have a look. What do you got? So I mock. Yeah, food, the rain carpet, coffee. He's got the air conditioned part. And he's got the uh, trampoline seating. He's covered all the bases here. Right, let's go. It's a joint open, got some people in there. Yeah, let's go up the main street. Holy crap, the outback's open again. Speed always was open. Ooh, beer 60 baht all day, it says there. The little beer complex is open. Looks like 60 baht is a going rate for beers. Long standing boa bar. I'm sure that'll be busy tonight. Old school pizza still going. The line looks like it's, it's doing better than it was, that's for sure. Makes you keep improving and get more flip-flops on the ground, as they say. That's fitting, isn't it? We started this day at Big Buddha and we'll semi finish it at Big Buddha. Still a pretty nice sunset, even though it wasn't full on. Incoming. Okay, maybe we will drop into the sunset bar at the end of the street here for one. Yeah, let's do that. If we can get a seat, that is. It looks pretty full. We'll try. Damn, that beer tastes good right now. It's love, and they called it puppy love. <laughs> the sunset. The game we saw, we sunsetted. Let's go. The real sunset is on this side. Go figure. He just comes up, he opens the circuit box, flips the switch, and this light comes on. <laughs> just as you do, you know. And we're off. My 
favorite little restaurant in Bangrak, Noi Friendly. Fantastic little place here. You've got to hit it if you come to Bangrak. Ooh, they got mango pancakes. Sticky rice mango. Old school Thai eateries. The prices are fantastic. The food's fantastic. The staff's fantastic. I'm going for a drink afterwards, so I'm starting with a Tang Mo Pan watermelon shake. And for dinner on the left, Pepri Gang Gai. Very spicy red jungle curry. And on the right, just cow fed guy. I got all my soup. Nothing more to add, really. <laughs> Excellent. And back to the secret garden for the nightcap. Right, back in the room. Got a big travel day coming in the next vid. Until then, take care. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.